Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. Welcome to another edition of Hometown Heroes on Family Life. I'm your host, Bill Price. Our guest this week, Eric Johns from Buffalo. He's living homeless all this week to raise money and awareness about poverty. This is a Thanksgiving tradition at Family Life, and I know it is as well in your house. Uh, every Thanksgiving week, you spend the entire week living homeless on the streets of Buffalo. Um, how many years have you been doing this now, Eric? This is uh, year number 23. Wow. And you started 11 o'clock Monday morning, front lawn of the Buffalo Dream Center, your church there in Buffalo. And the entire week, you'll uh, sleep under bridges, eat in soup kitchens, and just be Christ to uh, the people of Buffalo. Why do you do this every year, Pastor? Well, you know, I thought it would be a one-year thing when I really just felt led of God to to just leave my church office and and get out onto the street uh, for the week. And uh, but then it's just happened year after year, and it kind of became something more than just what I do, but it became a part of really who I am. As a person, I really look forward to this week and to being out on the streets with um, my friends from the streets that we see at the Dream Center uh, uh, four to five times a week. Really, we have a great relationship with a lot of the, the people that are on the streets right now or, or living in shelters. And and uh, so this week just gives me the opportunity to, to be out with them for the entire week and to draw attention to uh, some of the need that's in our community and and then of course uh it's uh you know the spark for our boxes of love uh program every year where we're going to help families at christmas but i can't really imagine my life without this week now yeah. and and it's really um started 23 years ago and you know and now my my sons who were were not even born when i first started our uh, they've been going out with me the past couple of years for the for the entire week, and mm-hmm. and they're they're uh, seventeen and eighteen, and and uh, now it's become a, a part of their life, and they you know they look forward to it as well. So yeah. it's just a great week to to get out into the community and to and to be with people and and uh, show them the love of Jesus. Amen. And you know, COVID changed so much; it just decimated so many families. We're feeling the effects of that still. Um, what have you noticed about the pandemic? And I don't know how much it uh, has affected your work there in Buffalo, but as far as the direct impact that it has had on poverty in the city and the, the homelessness problem in the city of Buffalo. Well, you know, initially, um, it's it just really increased the problem of uh, people being out on the streets. Uh, in March of 2020, uh, we uh, took a, one of our church vans uh, downtown to pick up our usual van load of guys from the streets that would join us at the Dream Center for church on Sunday. That was the Sunday when, you know, people began to shut down things, and we were just wondering. COVID was just beginning, mm-hmm. and uh, we had 70 people waiting downtown for a ride to church because wow. of social distancing at uh at shelters and and people were out on the street and we did, nobody knew what was going on of course we couldn't put all 70 guys in the van so we just i told my son-in-law who was the driver i said just tell him we'll be back next week no matter what's happening in the world we'll be back there yeah. and uh now it's been it's been almost two years well it's been 20 months and uh we planted a church downtown for the homeless. It's called Curbside Church. Mm. And so now that happens every Sunday. We have uh, 80 to 100 uh, people that come down right into the park, and we have worship and preaching and feed people. And uh, so, you know, it really... um, it affected the homeless population. It also affected families. Um, we've seen um, a one million pounds of food go through our warehouse at the Dream Center in the past 20 months. We have uh, fed thousands of families, and we still have people standing in line for food that have never been in line for food before in their huh. lives. And so this is a, you yeah. know, a common thing that we when we talk to people. So it has affected people, but 
really increased what we did. We, we've done more to help people in the past 20 months than we ever have yeah. in the history of the Dream Center. Pastor Eric Johns, our guest, you probably know him uh, every Thanksgiving week. We have this conversation, uh, a man who lives out his faith out loud. For nearly a quarter century, you've spent Thanksgiving week uh, living uh, with the homeless, sleeping outside in shelters, eating in soup kitchens, spending the entire week of Thanksgiving with the homeless population there in Buffalo. Uh, we've seen inflation just go through the roof. The cost of everything these days, Eric, has just um, unbelievable how much it's up. you got supply chain issues where you go to stores now and the shelves are empty. How much has this problem impacted your ability to meet the needs of the needy there in the Queen City? It's just been a blessing. We've been able to, to meet the needs. We've had an abundance, to be honest, of, uh, of things that we've been able to give away. We've had uh, companies mm. and other ministries and people come alongside of us. So the need is really great in the, the lives of families in our city. But we've been able to take that step up and, and meet the need. Some months we're feeding um, five, six, seven times more families than we used to. And uh, we've seen uh, God just provide our warehouses full right now. We're getting ready to, to help probably more than 3,000 families. Uh, it's looking like this Christmas season, and and we're um, we're happy that we're able to do it with so many people coming alongside to help us. Yeah, we're going to mention your your website so folks who want to get involved with Boxes of Love, uh, which uh, is just a wonderful ministry uh, outreach of this. That they can do that. But I wanted to ask you. I think it's so cool that you've got your two boys. They're seventeen and eighteen now, right? Yeah, and yeah. you've got them involved. It's a family thing. How does it make you appreciate more? There's so much bickering now, even in families, about like the vaccine. Scene and it's like some people have really passionate views about it, and, and they won't talk to family members. And it's just so sad that that the week we're supposed to be thankful and, and just in attitudes of gratitude, there just seems to be so much bickering out there. How has this changed you and and how you approach the whole idea and the concept of Thanksgiving? Yeah, you know, Thanksgiving has not been normal for us for so many years. Yeah, <laughs> but like in, I guess in the views of uh, other people, but it's something that our family, I guess for us now, it's normal. It's something that we've, we've done every year. So my, I've got five kids, I've got grandkids now. And, oh. and I remember when my, my girls were little and they would come out for an hour with me out on the street. And now my boys are staying the whole week with me. It's, um, you know, it's something that uh, the dream center has never been just my thing it's but it's always been our family's ministry uh together mm -hmm. and so to see that you know that kind of passion for for people birthed in the heart of my kids is is just an awesome awesome feeling so uh -huh. it's really not about pastor eric it's it's, a, it's really our whole family and our and our church congregation that really has that passion. So Monday through Saturday, your home will be under a bridge, literally under a bridge uh, in Buffalo. Uh, that's where you're going to be spending the nights for the next week. Every year you do this, Eric, I pray that the weather's not too bad. In Buffalo, you never know. Uh, yep. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's certainly quite a way of being in no uncertain terms, the hands and feet of our Lord Jesus Christ and your website. So if folks want to uh, contribute to the Boxes of Love campaign, where can they do that? Yeah, you know, we made it really easy this year. So if people want to contribute or if people need toys and food, it's all in the same place right at the top of our homepage at uh, buffalodreamcenter.org. Oh. And uh, people can do anything. You know, we can, uh, they can give money, they can give, get canned goods and, or uh, buy, go out and buy toys or, or come and help uh, distribute it to the community. But there's lots of ways for families to be involved. <laughs> That's Pastor Eric Johns from Buffalo, this week's Hometown Hero. Join us next week as we search for your home, your town, your hero. It's Hometown Heroes on Family Life.